the New Horizon spacecraft experienced an anomaly the afternoon of July 4th that led to a loss of communication with Earth. And Hydra. Stupid, stupid Hydra. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News and Professional Science presents Seriously, bro. Papa's got a new bag of tricks. How cool is Pluto? There's one thing that Professional Science and Thor agree on. It's that dang. New Horizons will be temporarily unable to collect science data during that time. Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that NASA's New Horizons Pluto mission has suffered an anomaly and has been set back. Breaking news! The New Horizons is broken. Asterisk. Let me just get to the article and explain if I can. Man. We are over at NASA's New Horizons. Response to Spacecraft Anomaly. July 4th, 2015. Happy 4th of July. New Horizons team responds to Spacecraft Anomaly. The New Horizons spacecraft experienced an anomaly the afternoon of July 4th that led to a loss of communication with Earth. Communication has been since re-established, and the spacecraft is healthy. The Mission Operations Center at the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland, lost contact with the unmanned spacecraft now 10 days from arrival at Pluto at 1.54 p.m. Eastern Time and regained communications with New Horizons at 3.15 p.m. Eastern Time. A loss of contact of about, wait, 81 minutes through NASA's Deep Space Network. During that time, the autonomous autopilot on board the spacecraft recognized a problem and, as it's programmed to do in such a situation, switched from the main to the backup computer. The autopilot placed the spacecraft in safe mode and commanded the backup computer to reinitiate communication with Earth. New Horizon then began to transmit telemetry to help engineers diagnose the problem. Problem. A new Horizons Anomaly Review Board, ARB, was convened at 4 p.m. Eastern Time to gather information on the problem and initiate a recovery plan. The team is now working to return New Horizons to its original flight plan. Due to the nine-hour round-trip communication delay that results from operating a spacecraft almost three billion miles away from Earth, full recovery is expected to take from one to several days. New Horizons will be temporarily unable to collect science data during that time. Status updates will be issued as the new information is available. So there you have it, right out of the horse's mouth. The spacecraft is alive and doing fine. It just can't do any science. All right? Surprise, surprise, surprise. But hey, it must be frustrating for them to get so close and now have everything be in jeopardy. It's just like a movie. It's all exciting and stuff. But then NASA and Hollywood always do kind of go hand in hand. Um, so they just, they just, you know, I was prepared for them to show us that Pluto was a really dumb red rock. I was prepared for them to show us that Pluto was a really boring red rock. I wasn't totally prepared for them to just pull the plug. Not that they pulled the plug, I'm just saying. This makes the story more interesting for sure. Will NASA's science be reduced? Technically, I don't even know if that's possible, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, now our four photographs may get cut down to like two. Because I think they've only been tagging like a couple photos a day. Which is pretty strange. But we've been on this journey for a while. Remember, Pluto is the underworld. So a lot of underworldly things happen. So I'm not going to be surprised if this, this, if this is a total backdoor action. NASA special. You know what I'm saying? So I will keep you updated on this. Or maybe they just shut it off to make it more interesting. Like, will it fail? I don't know. Everybody pay attention now. Maybe everybody will pay attention. Maybe nobody will pay attention. But this is definitely interesting. Keep everybody updated. God bless everyone.